beautiful baked cake. Put putting putting the the fruits on top of the cake, making more make make it stand out from the other cakes. That's what we're doing right now. And he's only twenty seven years old, and he's only been a, a starting QB for five years. You know, and the way. The way um athletes athletes are going right now, no nobody is nobody 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 is is dropping off, um dropping dropping off. I, I want to say something else, but I didn't want to be too. I want to say it's dropping dead, but then I thought about it. I was like, oh, that sounds a little bit too, you know, a little bit too um in, intense. But I obviously I mean it as as a a sports. As a, a sports um way, like not dropping dead, literally dropping dead, your career dropping dead, your sports world dropping dead because you turn 31, 32 years old, and now your Achilles heel is popping because you're walking. You know what I mean? That ain't happening to athletes anymore, man. Athletes, athletes is athletes is playing playing at 35 like they're 25. Athletes took that decade back. Athletes show everybody we're not old in our 30s. We're not done in our thirties, you know. If we are done, we're done because we want to be done. But I don't think Patrick Mahomes is one of those, one of those guys. Baby. And people is thinking, oh, well, he's thirty four years old. He ain't gonna be. Able to, he ain't be, he not gonna be able to run run around like that. How do you know? And why? Why? Because you can't run at thirty four years old. You turn thirty four years old, you can't run. Like why? Man, he's gonna he's gonna be playing the exact same way. And at 34, as he playing at 27. The man is not going to live another seven years. All of a sudden, his legs, his legs is too bruised up. He can't run. You know what I mean? So he he could he could really put more on top of this, more more rings on top of this. And later on later on later on in the week, I I I am I am going to want to talk about what do he needs to catch up to Tom Brady? Do he necessarily need seven? Because you know Tom Brady Tom Brady changed. He changed all of that with QBs. Like four is not enough to me anymore. Four is not enough. With Joe, four was the number because of Joe Montana and Terry Bradshaw. But Terry Bradshaw got four Super Bowls. But I just say he won the MVP twice. Super Bowl MVP twice. So, like, so that lets me know a lot of these these wins Terry Bradshaw is getting because he had a great. Great teams with eleven Hall of Famers on his on those Pittsburgh Steelers teams. Eleven of those things, eleven Hall of Famers. So that that feels like a product of his environment. But you know you can't really say say the same thing about Patrick Mahomes unless you want to unless you want to talk about his coach because he only he only got one future Hall of Fame player on his team right now, and that's Travis Kelsey. He don't even have he don't even have a a a a, a big name wide receiver anymore. The man just won Super without his big name wide receiver. And Rodgers lose Devontae Adams and and they don't they don't even make the playoffs. Like um the um who else there who 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 else I'm trying to think of um I'm trying to think of a receiver who got who got hurt. I think the I think the Jets had some 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 really good receivers. That they either didn't use or got hurt, and you know, but that's a matter of of them having a a, a average quarterback. That you know, I got hmm. I guess receivers was pretty healthy this year, huh? Can't really think of um receivers that that went down. But I I, I could say AJ Brown, him him leaving to him leaving Tennessee, and then what happened with Tennessee? What's going on with Tennessee? What's the deal with Tennessee? You know what I mean? Like, it's 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 so crazy how this man was able to perform the way he performed without Tyreek Hill, and not just perform well, but when this man made Derek McKinnon. Um, valuable as a Kansas City Chiefs receiver this season. And he's not even a receiver. <clears throat> but he was heavily used as a receiver. Well, well, not in the playoffs. 
In the playoffs, not so. He wasn't. During the season, he was big time. He was big time. In the playoffs, not so much. Especially in the Super Bowl. Especially in the Super Bowl. But and during the season, he was getting those those three yards receiving touchdowns from from you know catching balls from, from Patrick Mahomes. He was used. He was definitely used. And then oh man, I'll be I'll be hated if I don't mention uh Kadarius Tony. We had a receiver on the Giants. We keep on saying, man, we need receivers, we need receivers. Apparently we had one. Cause his attitude sucked, you trade him. Okay, it wasn't because of his game. It can't be because of his game because since he became a chief, I've been watching him balled out. And now he's a Super Bowl 57. What is he doing? Balled out. Balled out. The man had a 65-yard punt return. The longest punt return in the history of the Super Bowls. And he almost got the first ever punt return touchdown in the Super Bowl. The man was like two, maybe three yards away from 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 getting a um from getting a, a punt return TD in the Super Bowl. Never be, never happened in the history of Super Bowls. This man almost did it, and the, and he was wearing a Giants Giants uniform week one. A Giants uniform week week one. The the game was magnificent. The Chiefs came to play. The defense came to play. The defense, the Kansas, the Kansas City Chiefs defense came to play, and that was like the only Achilles here we was thinking about of of what what could help the Eagles win the Super Bowl because we was thinking that the defense is not as as good as you know the, the Eagles, which on paper. Not only on paper, but during the postseason, they wasn't. They wasn't as good as the Eagles. But they 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 showed they showed up in this game. They made stops when it was time to make stops. They sure did. Um, Travis Kelsey, he played like a Hall of Fame tight end. And we keep talking about Patrick Mahomes um reaching um catching up to catching um Tom Brady. We need to start talking about Travis Travis Kelsey catching Rob um, Gr Gronkowski, if he haven't already, which I don't think he did, because he only got two rings. But he's on. I think he's on the road. I gotta. I really have to look up his numbers, both career numbers, and see how many. What? 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 what Gronk got what? Do do he do he got five Super Bowls? Maybe do he got five Super Bowls? Maybe maybe three Super Super Bowls. I gotta look that. I look that up. Maybe he got three Super Bowls. Oh no, was he on that Tampa Bay team? He was on that Tampa Bay team. So maybe he got four. You know what? Now it's bothering me. I need I need to I need to do a little little bit of a little bit of research to see how many how many Super Bowls the Gronk actually have. Because we need to see we need to see what okay, so he got four. He got four. He got four. Kelsey got two, and you know, on my own time, I need to look up career receiving yards and career touchdowns between between Travis Kelsey and Rob Gronkowski because Travis Kelsey is on his way of catching up to Rob as the best tight end, the the best tight the best tight end, and in the, in the, in the history, history of the NFL. I should also <clears throat> look up Shannon Sharp as well. So right now, I'm thinking. My now, I'm thinking Shannon Sharp, Rob Gronkowski, Travis Kelsey. Let's look them up. Let's look up the rings. Let's look up the stats, and let's see who is the the best the best tight end in the history of, of the NFL. Because Travis Kelsey is making a strong, strong case that ain't nobody better than him in that in that position. Lucky LeBron James stayed in the, in the NBA, but he's making a strong case. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody better than him in that position. By the way, the man got 80, 81 yards and a touchdown in the Super Bowl. That sounds like a Hall of Fame tight end to me. Performing on the great, the, the greatest stage. You know, the top 
players perform on the greatest stage. You know, Kadarius Tony got a touchdown, a receiving a touchdown. You know, Travis Kelsey got a receiving touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco got a rushing touchdown. Patrick Mahomes got three three um passing touchdowns in this game with no interceptions. Well, 100, 182 yards passing. 21 for 27. 21 for 27 pat on um, passing. A nice a 96 QBR. And he had one leg to, to do it on. You oh and and I I didn't mention earlier. Don't let's not let's not forget on that one leg. That 26 that 26 um 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 rushing play 26 yard rushing play he had to get that put his team in a position to edge out this win. Edge it out. Edge out the win. Congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs. They are the, the they are the winners of Super Bowl 57. It was a really good game. I highly enjoyed it. And I appreciate these stars for what they did. For what they for what they did Sunday Sunday night. That was magnificent to watch. And as a sports fan, I tip my hat and I appreciate the hard work that these that these gentlemen had to do to perform like that on this stage with millions of eyeballs, millions of eyeballs times two, watching everything you do. Congrats, KC. Man, um, we'll see if you do if you could do it back to back. Cause I, cause honestly, I don't see no reason why not. So now we gotta talk about the losers, and I used that word very, very loosely, cause it was nothing. It was nothing about 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 this Eagles team that sh showed they're losers. Nothing at all. You know, the only thing I could say, the only thing I could say is this. The only thing I could say is this. That Eagles defense did not, did not play like the Eagles defense we know. At all. We was worried about, we was worried about Kansas City, um, um, get, like losing, um, uh, Patrick Mahomes, like, Oh, they they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna attack him. They're gonna go after his leg. They're gonna sack him and everything. He'll get a, he'll get like a few sacks on one leg. Eagles defense got no sacks in this game. They got no sacks in this game. Not one sack. No interceptions. No sacks. Um, um, the dumb the dumb Kong Sue. Like oh, I can, ooh, I butcher his name really bad. But Sue, he didn't do nothing. He didn't show up in this game. Like, nobody really showed, showed, showed up in this game defensively. And then, James Bradbury with, the, with that holding play that everybody is so upset about. You know what's so, know what's so funny? That's the funny thing about, about, about people. They're not upset that, that the refs made a call that wasn't the case. They're upset the refs made a call. That's the weirdest thing to me. You're more upset of the call that the rest made the call. Like people are saying, I, people, I, I'm watch, I'm watching the show on ESPN, and I'm hearing one, one fan like that called in, called in to talk on the air. I hear him saying that he wished that there'd be more training for more training, more practice. For the um the rest to to learn how to make calls, and I yelled at my TV. He did make the call. He made the call. What you mean? Why are you talking like it, it it was the wrong call? Why are you why are you talking like like that ref and that ref that didn't call the foul with um when LeBron James was going for the layup and he got fouled by Jason Tatum, and they didn't they didn't call the foul and Boston Celtics end up beating the the Lakers. You're talking about this ref like that it was that case. No, he made the call. And I'm not I'm not about that. Oh, you got you gotta you gotta use um common sense on certain situations. You don't no man, forget that, man. You make the call. Forget that. I'm about that. I I'm watching it. And I saw the hold. 